My brother is a veterinarian and over the years he's told me some wonderful stories about things that have happened to him in going through school and getting established in a veterinary practice. And one of my favorite stories that he tells is when he used to live above a veterinarian's office that he was interning for. He wasn't quite a vet yet. And basically it was his job to just stay there and take care of any animals overnight and answer any emergency calls and make a decision whether they should call in a vet or not. So one day, or rather one night, it was probably around uh, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night, he got a phone call and it was a guy who was particularly worried about his dog because the dog had ticks. So he's asking my brother, is this something I need to bring the dog in for? Is this something I can take care of? Well, my brother, not wanting to have to get unsettled, he was watching TV and relaxing that night, suggested, well, why don't you try a couple things? And the first thing he suggested was put some Vaseline on the ticks. It seals off their ability to breathe, and they usually back out. So the guy hung up after getting these instructions and called back later, and my brother assumed he was calling to say, hey, that was great at work, but no. The guy said the ticks are still there. They don't seem to be doing anything. And my brother said, okay, that sometimes works, sometimes it does, and sometimes we have to step it up a little bit. So what he suggested at that point is take a match, light it, let it burn for a little bit, blow it out, and then touch it to the rear end of the tick. And again, that stimulates them to usually let go and back out. So the, they hang up. About 10, 15 minutes later, guy calls back, says again, didn't work. And my brother's a little bit perplexed because usually those two steps do you know, solve the problem. They said, okay, let's try one last thing. Um, if you're married, and it turns out the guy was, get some of your wife's nail polish and paint the tick because that truly seals up their ability to absorb oxygen. They can't breathe and they back out and let go. So the guy hangs up again and 15 minutes later, my brother gets the same phone call. Nothing's happening. They're still in there. He said, okay. He relents and says, bring the dog in. Let me take a look at it. If it's a serious problem, I'll call one of the vets to come in. Otherwise, we'll just handle it. So about a half hour later, and this is like 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning, guy comes in. My brother brings him into an examination room. Beautiful German shepherd. And they get the dog up on the table. And my brother asks the guy, where are the ticks? He goes, well, let's get him on his back. So they get the dog up, roll the dog over, and there on the dog's abdomen and chest are eight perfectly spaced, pink, because the nail polish, nipples. The guy goes, I didn't know that male dogs had nipples. My brother just looks at him and goes, have you looked at yourself lately?